Yo, what up, everybody? Carver Bozes, would you welcome? Uh, time for yet another break. 2018 Allen and Ginter Baseball, half case number five. All right, let me just uh, put this on the screen. So while I rip this Ginter, y'all make sure to get your spots in the other breaks we have in the store. Contenders is at 11 spots left. Optic is at 10. Bowman's Best is at 10 as well. Let's get all three of those breaks knocked out tonight, y'all. All right, let me grab these boxes. Yeah, buddy. Box topper. I always save those for last. All right. As always, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. So wow. So while I was away, the Lakers making a bit of a comeback there. Actually, on top of the Thunder by four. I don't like those Thunder jerseys. They, they really need to get rid of those. I like their alternate jerseys a lot better. Their original jerseys, they look like WNBA jerseys. Man, they, they got to get rid of Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram always just looks disinterested. Like he's like not all the way there. What up, Brett? Just in time to see a little uh, Ginter here. How's everything with you, Brent? How's your day going? Or you could have bought them yesterday, Brent. You know, not for nothing, but that Ginter's been on our site for at least a week. But I bet that last picture was good. Please tell me you had like an actually like an actual good beer. And not like Miller Light or something like that. Let's see what we got here. Colfax Dodgers, maybe. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's two rip cards per case. And last, the, the other half of this, 
we had one rip card in there so I do believe we should be getting a rip card in this half as well well so where where is that Brett Chris Archer raise patch so let me just put the raise in the green here Autos, patches, and 101s are considered hits in this. The rip card I'm going to consider a hit. Unless you ask me to open it. Then depending on what comes out, it may or may not be a hit. My boy repping that Kalamazoo. Matt always goes for Corona or Sam Adams. You know how people feel the way they want about Coronas? But when you get an ice cold Corona. And you put a little bit of lime in there with some salt. It's delicious. But when you let that Corona get room temperature, it is garbage. Personally, I, I prefer uh, Stella. I like Stella. My boy Brad sent me some beer from, uh, from Ohio. Damn near killed me. Shout out to the real American. Gotta check the back of the minis because the some of them are numbered. I told you two rib cards per case. Here's the other one for the Red Sox. Chris Sale, number three of fifty. Now, if you guys have never seen a rib card. Uh, that means uh, you can rip this card open. There's the, the perforation right there. I don't know if you can see it. But as you can see, it's a genuine Allen & Ginter rip card. If you dare, rip this card open to discover a collectible exclusive mini card inside. So you could potentially get a red mini autograph card or an exclusive mini parallel or an exclusive mini wood parallel or an exclusive uh, mini metal parallel or a one-of-a-kind sketch card so that is uh, what can be had there now blob has to say this is his card so uh, if blob tells me to rip it I will rip it but as of now this is considered a hit unopened a rip card is a hit because I have no idea what's in there all right so I'm not gonna open this Brad kids play you guys do not own the Red Sox. My man Anthony does. So if he wants me to open it, I will. Alcantara Mini there. A Ripken booklet would be insane if it comes out of this thing. cryptocurrency card that goes for some money that's like 20 bucks right there that card Buster Posey Giants patch so Giants with a hit Let's get this thing top loaded. This thing is money. Literally, the cryptocurrency. Alright, let's put that over there. My boy Blob making life decisions right now with that uh <laughs> With that rip card, guarantee you he's looking up like odds and whatever. The uh, cryptocurrency 
card number What's up, Andy? Andy uh, asked a question. Who do uh, who do you think will lead the Chiefs game in rushing? Normally, I'd say Kareem Hunt, but you know, there's that. Um, I'm gonna say Tyreek Hill. I'm gonna throw that one out there. I think Tyreek Hill is gonna be the player of the game. And I think he's going to lead them in rushing yards. You can line up Tyreek anywhere on the football field. That guy's a baller. And I don't think uh, New England will see that coming. Yep, over Sony Michelle. It's not glossy. It's not glossy at all. The minis, uh, the mini versions of them usually go for more. No one gives the Pats a chance because everybody hates the Patriots. Unless you're a Patriots fan, you need to realize that everybody hates the Patriots. It's really just that simple. Madison Russell, Cubs patch. The glossy ones are the gray ones, I believe, right, uh, JMS? see something big to him here, an autograph or something. Always got to check the back of the minis. There's another cryptocurrency. Because in the minis, some of them are hand numbered on the back of the card. So always check. I just make it a habit to just always check. Because you never know.
what do we have here? We have Miles Mikolas. That's a rookie? That boy don't look like no dang rookie. Brad, I'm going I'm to I'm break it down for you. I'm going to break it down for you in a second. So there's that for the Cardinals. Is that guy really a rookie? Oh boy, look like he's straight out of the 70s. All right, Brad, you ready for this breakdown right quick? You want me to you want me to explain you why everybody hates the Patriots? Let me let me knock this out. And Uncle Uncle Jesse going going to break it down. Uncle Jesse going to break it down. Now I'm I'm going to hit you with actual factuals, Brad. I can tell you why I hate the Patriots. I hate them because they're so damn good. That's my, my, my reason is simple. I'm a Dolphin fan. I remember when the Patriots were absolute trash. I remember when the Patriots were the Cleveland Browns of the, of the NFL. And then as soon as they start winning, everybody suddenly is a fan. That's why I hate them. I hate them because they're so damn good. And they've been dominant for like the last... 15 plus years. Cubs with a patch there. So let me let me finish this one. I'm, I'm about to break it down to you. I'm about to break it down to to the to a molecular level, son. So that's my reason for hating the Patriots, mainly because they're just really good. Alright, can can't can't deny can't deny the greatness. They're they are a dynasty for sure and i hate it because it's not my team all right so if i'm being honest that's why i hate them but you know why else i hate them because they, they because they freaking cheat and they get away with it everybody in the nfl cheats that's you know whatever but you know there was the tuck rule which whatever I'll, I'll i'll let that one slide okay even though it was a fumble and everybody knows it was a fumble but no whatever robert Kraft paid the referees awesome whatever cool tuck rule that's number one number two spygate you're telling me that No wonder you're winning. You know what I'm calling before I call it. You know all my signals. They got caught doing that. Guess what? Not not a single reprimand. Not even a slap on the wrist. Oh, whatever. It's the Patriots. Let it slide. They got no repercussions for Spygate. That's one. Deflate gate. That's two. No more need be said. Tom Brady. Tom Brady did not cooperate with a federal investigation. You know what that is? That should be jail time. You're not cooperating with a federal investigation. And what does he get? I think he got like suspended for like three or four games. Are you kidding me? You shouldn't even be in the NFL. You should be in jail. Don't cooperate with a federal investigation. That's that's another one. Brad, do I? Do I though? Do I though? Ah, uh, David, nobody cares about the Jets. They don't win, so nobody cares. I agree, Danny K. Joe Montana, still the GOAT. So David, Brad, I mean, you guys could circle jerk if you like. You know, Pets fans do that. That's cute. Awesome. Yeah, but I will concede that you guys are the best football team as of like the last 15 plus years. I just hate that you guys get caught cheating. 
and get no repercussions. I hate that. Whatever. You get caught cheating? Cool. Everybody in the NFL, everyone in the NFL cheats. I know this. You know what they say? If you're not cheating, you ain't trying to win. But how do you get caught cheating? Three different ways and not get a single repercussion. It's ridiculous. But mainly, I'm just jealous because my team sucks and the Patriots are awesome. And we play in the same division, so that is the most, <laughs> that's the biggest reason. How can I, how can I not be jealous of, uh, of the old Brady boy? As we speak, the, the man's probably uh, ankle, that boy, ten toes, ten toes down to Jesus. Inside of Victoria's Secret model. How could I not be jealous? But really though. Oh dude I'm a huge Dolphin fan David. Huge Dolphin fan. And that's another reason why I really hate the Patriots. Like here in Miami man. There are so many Fairweather fans. Like so many people root for the Patriots. They've never even had clam chowder. They've never even been to New England, but they're Patriots fans. Like, oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. Adrian Beltre, Rangers patch. I want to say about 40% of Patriots fans can't even name the starting quarterback before, uh, before Bledsoe. Well, Brad, I, I am a Patriots hater, so I am a Patriots hater. <laughs> Loud and proud. Loud and proud. Say it with me. Fuck the Patriots. What do we have here? Jose Altuve, Astros patch. Astros in the green. I just can't wait till Tom Brady stops playing football and the Patriots go back to sucking. Oh, that's going to be so awesome. And then all you Patriots fans can go back to uh, hiding under rocks. That being said, they're probably going to beat the Chiefs this weekend. <laughs> oh, I, I really hope not. I'm pulling for Andy Reid, not for nothing. But then again, it is Andy Reid. He always chokes. That's what I'm saying, Brad. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're if you're a true Patriots fan, yo, nothing but respect. You've earned it. You 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 went through all the crappy years. Nothing but respect. But at least down south, man, here in Miami, bro, there's so many Patriots fans that are only fans because of Tom Brady. And I and I refuse to respect that. Uh, Rachel Prism? What what Prism are you talking about? I don't have any Prism on eBay. And uh, we won't be having any Prism for the store anytime soon. So the answer to that, Rachel, is, uh, is a no. We get new products. When the new product comes out, we'll rip it. Um, but, yeah. Hmm. 
Rachel, I have no idea what you're what you're what you, you you're confusing me right now. Which is easy because I'm an idiot. So there okay, first of all, let me see when Prism comes out. Let me see, let me see. Let me see here. Uh, Prism Basketball is what you're asking for. When the hell does Prism Basketball... When did Prism Basketball come out? I don't see Prism Basketball coming out here uh, anytime soon. So the question to that, Rachel, is no. We currently don't have any Prism Breaks in the store. Or on eBay, and I don't think we're going to be getting any more either. Prism Football, 2018 Prism Football. I think that came out already. I don't see it here on the uh, release schedule coming up. So, for the most part, Rachel, we try to keep new products in the store. Number one. And number two... You're asking the wrong person. Uh, I'm honestly really just here to open stuff up. So we, we very rarely ever get older products, Rachel. So let's start there. And if you really want to ask the person, it's Jason. Jason is the one that this is his baby. He is the boss. He's the one that knows when we're putting stuff on eBay, what we're putting on eBay, what's going on in the store, etc., etc. So, Rachel, if I had to give you an answer right now, I would say we're not getting any Prism. And I would not hold my breath for it. Because uh, it's an older product, and we try to stick to new products. Okay? So, there's that. Or you could just stop by tomorrow. Jason's live Friday and Saturday. You could ask him tomorrow, and, you know, that's the guy to ask. That is the guy to ask. Well, David, I, you know, I've, 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 I've never once said that I'm not a, a Dolphin fan. I bleed orange and teal. I'm a Hurricane fan. I'm a Heat fan. I rep Miami all day, every day. It's like Brett says, I'm the on-screen beauty, you know, I'm, I'm the good looks, you know, I'm, I'm all that, but I, I have no say around here as far as products and whatnot. People tell me, hey, sell this, and I'll be like, well, okay. I'll try. I'm just eye candy. I'm just eye candy. Eye candy and plus, uh, not for nothing. I, I'm, a, I'm a lucky dude. I'm a lucky. You know, I'm a lucky guy. I have a knack for big hits. Yeah, David, you know, that the way you feel about Marino and Jim Kelly is how I feel about Tom Brady. Multiplied by a factor of, like, at least 10. Buxton Twins patch.
Brady versus Marino would have been pretty epic. Well, for a little while, the Jets were doing their thing. You know, they had Brett Favre there for a year. Mr. Butt Fumble was doing his thing. Before that, they had um, Chad Pennington. He was solid. Dolphins had Jay Fiedler for a little while, and, and he was uh, he was okay for us. He got us in the playoffs. Blah blah blah. But we just cannot win. But yeah, as far as like an elite quarterback, Brady has been uh, a one-man wrecking crew in the AFC East. This is probably the baseball thing. Well, no, it's a redemption. Uh, for Tyron Lu. Wow, really? The coach for the Cavs? That's hilarious. It's a mini autograph reading parallel of Tyron Lu. The, uh, well, I think he's the ex-head coach of the Cavaliers. That goes to the non-baseball spot, so there you go. Yes, JMS, that goes to the non baseball spot, the Tyron Lou. There might be like a dinosaur tooth in here or something. A megalodon tooth. This set is so crazy. It's a fun product, though, for sure. You think so, David? We were talking about that earlier. Hopefully the Dolphins make a move, man. We definitely got to make a move. I wouldn't mind having Nick Foles. Uh, I saw the mock draft special earlier on ESPN2. Uh, Mel Kuyper has uh, Kyler Murray getting drafted by the Dolphins. With the 13th overall pick, I don't know how I feel about that. But I definitely would not mind having Big Dick Nick in a Dolphin uniform. But, seeing as how it's the Dolphins, he'll probably be garbage. Because it's the Dolphins. Ever since Marino retired, man, we've just been the definition of mediocrity. Chris Sale, Red Sox relic. I like Foles, man. Foles is nice. But again, if, if he ends up with the Dolphins, we'll find a way to fuck that up. We always do. What To this day, what bothers me is we had a chance to, to get Drew Brees. And we opted for uh, Dante Culpepper. What the fuck? I liked Gase his first season. And I, I liked the fact that he was trying to uh, to establish a culture in Miami. Now, I don't know if he was the one calling the plays on offense. But, uh, yeah. He was okay. He was okay. My, my thing with Gase is he never really got a... A, a fair shot at it because of the fact that Tannehill was is just constantly injured. I think he's gonna do good with the well, with the Jets. Although that press conference, <laughs> that press conference is hilarious. 
Yeah, Jabez, I believe the red ink is number to five, I think. Yeah, I heard that the uh, the Patriots linebacker coach, Brian Flores, who is the, the defensive play caller for him, might be the Dolphins' next coach. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest with you. Uh, mainly because the, the Patriots' defense hasn't been ex been exactly uh, good the last couple seasons. But they step up when they need to. And, uh, yeah. I, I Honestly, I'd much rather have the offensive coordinator for the, uh, for the Patriots. Because offensively, the Patriots are one of the best teams in the league. But we shall see. We shall see. If we do get Flores, hopefully he can establish a bit of that Patriot way in Miami. Justin says that the Red Ink is number to 10. I was close. I was close. watching NBA on TNT but Ali LaForce is a coyote anybody got those airpods from from uh, from Apple I got a question if any of you fine folks happens to own those airpods those wireless Headphones or whatever you call them for the uh, for the iPhone. Let's see what's in this box. We got the glossy box in the uh, in the first half. The uh, the gray glossy cards. I think those are one per case. Nola of the Phillies with a patch. So let's put Phillies in the green. Maybe there. JAT, not at the moment, man. Not at the moment. But I'll put a filler together after I'm done here. But if I were you, I would grab my team. Because the filler, no guarantees there. But that's a nice hit. Reese Hoskins. Phillies rookie autograph. Very nice. It's not numbered. But it is nice. There you go, Phillies.
Kershaw Dodgers patch. Right down to the last box, Mojo. These will be last box toppers. I do at the end. Last box mojo. Man, this Thunder Lakers game is close. Wow. That was a travel. <laughs> Kuzma, what are you doing? Russell Westbrook, ugly as hell. That boy looked like a ninja turtle. Contenders and Optic down to 10. Very nice. Bowman's best been at 10 too. I'd like to get those three filled tonight, if at all possible. I think it can happen. Why not? All right, here we go. Last box mojo. Good luck, everybody, especially those without a hit here. No minis uh, have been numbered so far. There was one in the first half of the case. Relic for the Orioles, uh, Jonathan Shoop. So Orioles with a hit there. Sorry about that. And 
Nice. Another hit for the non-baseball spot. Kelsey Plum. No idea who that is. A basketball player, apparently. There you go. Now that I remember, there's like, there's Mo Bamba autographs in this, I think. Um, Marvin Bagley, I think, also has autographs in this stuff. She's a basketball player, apparently. That goes to the non-baseball spot. There you go. Another cryptocurrency card. Recuperate some of the monies there, mess. We still got the box stoppers to go through and the rest of this box, so let's see what happens. Of course, JMS, of course. Truth be told, the minis are some of the biggest hits. Sox JD Martinez with a relic. And that's probably going to do it here. Yep. All right. Now, Blob. Do you want me to rip this? If you're here, let me know. Let's see what's in these box toppers. Now we got Carlos Correa. Chipper Jones, Braves box topper. I don't think I've ever seen a box topper autograph out of Ginter. I'm pretty sure they are out there. I just haven't hit one yet. <coughs> Craig Bryant, Cubs. Most of the non baseball spot, the natural wonders. Two left. Mike Trout. 
Yeah, no, Jameis. <laughs> Dude, that's Icelandic. That's like one of the most difficult languages in on the planet. I'm not even going to disrespect the, uh, the Icelandic people by attempting pr to pronounce that. Last but not least, Mark McGuire of the Ace. All right, so no box topper out of. So, let's recap. So, we had a rip card, Chris Sale, 3 of 50, uh, Red Sox. Patches, Martinez Red Sox, Shoop Orioles, Kershaw Dodgers. Nola Phillies, Sale Red Sox, Buxton Twins, Benintendi Red Sox, Altuve for the Astros, Beltre Rangers, uh, Contreras Cubs, Russell Cubs, Posey Giants, and Archer for the Rays. We got a uh, Adelan Ginter, framed mini autograph reading parallel of Tyron Lou. That goes to the non-baseball spot, as you can see by my handwriting. We also have an autograph for Kelsey Plum to the non-baseball spot. Reese Hoskins of the Phillies. Mr. Uh, Mikolas, Miles Mikolas, autograph for the Cardinals. And we have four cryptocurrency uh, cards here which are a little something something and that's going to do it for the break so let me actually put this in a proper top loader what is that a hundred I think yes beautiful I wonder what's inside the rip card maybe Blob can tell us when he opens it if he opens it alright so here's the deal as you can see a lot of names in the white so what I'm gonna do is the top four spots will win $25 each for a total of $100 all right so the top four will win 25 each 25 times 4 is indeed a hundred last I checked uh, where's my die? Here it is. Let's roll it. Where's the, uh, where, where is it? Where is it? There it is. 11 times. So we're going to go 11 times in the random. I have the names copied here. Let's knock that down. Come over to the randomizer. Boom. Paste it. All right. So the top four spots win 25 each. For a total of 100, going 11 times. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Very hard to hit in Ginter. That's why I'm spreading the love around with that 100. 9. Money shot 11 coming up. Good luck, everybody. Boom. 11 times. Top four, we got Michael Hammer. You get 25. We got Jeremy twice. Jeremy, you get 50. And Richard, you get 25. And that, my friends, was the filler. And that was the break. I should say, that was no filler there. So, that was the break. Congratulations to Michael, Jeremy, and Richard for winning break credit. We'll get that out to you. Thank you.